Professor Smith, you are the 10th Good Heart Professor we have the pleasure of interviewing and we're very grateful to you for agreeing to add to our archive. You've had an illustrious and a varied career in which you've held academic positions at five universities and professorships at three of those. Yes. I hope that we can talk today about your early life and your career, touching on your aspirations for your time in the Good Heart Chair and then, at a later stage, there'll be a chance to talk about your scholarly work and again, hopefully, you can talk about your research as the Good Heart incumbent. So, could we start with when you were born, just <laughs> shortly after the war? Yes. In um, 1947? That's right. Two years after the war, born in Christchurch in New Zealand in 1947 in January. Um, uh, my father was in the Air Force. Um, he stayed in the Air Force after the war. He'd been a navigator in the Solomons in Guadalcanal during the war. But he, um, he decided he would stay in the Air Force. And that meant that our early life, I had a, an older sister and a younger brother and sister, meant that it was a very disrupted life. We came to England, I think, the year after I was born. Um, my father was doing... Um, a specialist navigators course but the services were such that we moved every two or three years so this early schooling was very very disrupted I, um, I think I went to about five different primary schools I while see. in New Zealand. Yes. Yeah. So Professor Smith your, your early life was somewhat disrupted because you moved several times. Yes. You went to primary school um, in Christchurch? No, I started in Wellington. In Wellington. And then went to Christchurch. And then to Christchurch. And then back to Wellington. Back to Wellington. <laughs> yes. So And um, you you started your high school, you did your high school at St Bede's. Yes, but I also had a year in Wellington. Um, well, we moved to a place called Blenheim, um, in between after Wellington, well to Christchurch, I think we went to Blenheim. And I made the mistake of winning a scholarship to um, <laughs> a boarding school. Um, in Wellington, and um, I did not like it one little bit. Um, but fortunately, after a, a year of that, my father decided he'd had enough of the Air Force, and he he changed his job, and we then went to Christchurch. Right. At which point, I had to go to a, a new secondary school, um, which was St. that Beats. was St. Bede's, yes. yes. Is that a Catholic school? Well, it's they're both Catholic, all Catholic schools. Yes. yes. The yes. early ones taught by nuns, um, the, the later ones by Mass priest. Right. Mm. And at that early stage, were there any subjects at school that you excelled in? Um, <laughs> I was most interested, I suppose, in, in literature. Um, I was very bad at Latin. I think I was very badly taught at Silverstream. And then when I went to St. Bede's, um, I had a different teacher and it made the subject completely different. I actually enjoyed chemistry. Um, but I didn't enjoy the chemistry teacher at St. Leeds. <laughs> and um, he once told me I was a complete waste of time. I was so cross, I, I worked hard at it, and I got the top mark in chemistry in the national exam. He never spoke to me ever again. <laughs> um, and mathematics I quite enjoyed. Um, but again, the teacher, I asked him why we were differentiating functions, um, because I couldn't quite see the point of it. And he said, never mind, just do it. <laughs> um, and that that doesn't half um, put you off the subject, I think. Um, That's right. But some of the teachers I had, particularly in English, I had a particularly good English teacher, a man called Father Weir, John Weir, who was a poet who had written quite a bit of his own poetry that was a, a, an expert on the poetry of James K. Baxter. And I, know I lost contact with him for quite a while, but met him again quite recently when he published the complete um, prose works of James K. Baxter, a four-volume work. He's now in his 80s. It was a wonderful piece of work, um, quite amazing piece of scholarship. So I'm pleased to have kept in touch with him. How oh, wonderful to well, have met him made, again. Made, made, made in touch with him again, yes. Yes, yes. yes. must have been very meaningful. He, it is, yes. yes. He tells me he's writing a biography of Lewis Carroll. Oh, and I told him I thought that field was already rather full, but he's not, <laughs> he was, he's not daunted. 